like you to do a thought experiment with me. The titular short story of my creative thesis, Save the Drowning Child, revolves around three black girls. And as you learn about each of them, it's going to be up to you to decide who to save. Dizzy is 16, the oldest of two sisters, and is married to her school teacher who got her pregnant. If Dizzy is saved from her predatory marriage, her family's reputation will be ruined. Her mother will be uh, fired from her job, her sister will be ridiculed, and her and Lorelai's prospects will be irreparably damaged. Lorelai is Dizzy's five-month-old daughter. She's not wanted by her neglectful mother, and her aunt only sees her as a means to feel mature. If Lorelai is saved from her mother, um, she will be smothered by her aunt um, to keep her from returning to uh, Dizzy's home. If Lorelai is saved from her aunt and her life is spared, uh, she will, excuse me, sh Millie will become her nanny and she will be preyed upon by her father, by Lorelai's father. Millie is 12, the youngest of the two sisters, and she has been watching Lorelai while her sister's been in the hospital. Millie wants to be a woman and she wants all of the recognition and validation that she thinks comes with womanhood and she doesn't know yet that this is not the case. If Millie is saved from these ideas of womanhood, she will be the first in her family to graduate. She'll go to college, start a business, and raise daughters of her own, but this means Lorelai stays with Dizzy, whose neglect results in the slow and painful death of this child. And imagine that I told you that this is the world of Millie, Dizzy, and Lorelai. Jacksonville, Florida, 1901, days after the great fire that nearly claims Dizzy and Lorelai's life. What if I told you these sisters are the first in their family to learn to read? Only two generations separated from slavery. Who do you save? My thesis is deeply influenced by the Southern Gothic literary tradition, which centers thematically on addiction, poverty, the impacts of industrialization, violence, and racism, and the places of these within Southern culture. If we look to the canon of Southern Gothic, we find it overwhelmingly occupied by white authors writing about these issues from a Eurocentric perspective that rarely engages with the Florida landscape. I, uh, I approach Southern Gothic as a black birthright that's been kept too long from black writers, writers who look like me. I'm sorry. My thesis seeks to explore authentically the horrific and violent world that black and brown Floridians have navigated across the last century, um, exploring how blackness and our experiences as women has shaped us. <laughs>